The Department of Justice issuing a statement of interest saying that they back Capitol Hill Baptist Church and their lawsuit against Washington, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser's illegal restrictions on worship gatherings. We're going to get into the details of this. Before I go any further, guys, if you enjoy my daily content here on YouTube, I encourage you, you can help support and donate to the ministry here for as little as $5 a month. It makes a big difference over at patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 20 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that posts to Patreon, unlike YouTube, where you won't get notified for all the videos that I put out, even if you have that bell clicked. So when you get done watching me here, browse back to check what you've missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, let's talk here about the Department of Justice Capitol Hill Baptist Church, and the D.C. Mayor, Muriel Bowser, who I am not a big fan of, just so you guys know. She puts this executive order out in March, by the way, which is completely illegal to do anyway, barring any sort of religious activity, any services, whether it's indoor or outdoor. Now, the city currently is in phase two of the reopening. They have been in phase two for the last three months, which is ridiculous. They should be all the way out to the end of the phases by this point now. But currently, right now, it states that still, indoor worship is absolutely prohibited. You can gather outside to worship, but there is a cap on 100 people. You cannot exceed 100 people at all. So this is what brought forth the lawsuit by Capitol Hill Baptist Church in the first place. They filed it here last week, and now the DOJ is supporting them, saying that, right, this is, in fact, unconstitutional. The mayor can't do this. This is illegal. This is a violation of their civil liberties. But my question is this. Why has it been allowed to go on as long as it has? To me, this mayor should have been in court a long time ago. These restrictions should have never happened. They should be lifted immediately, in my view. Immediately. The church says that they don't have any way to do any virtual. You know, They can't do anything virtual. They don't have multiple service times. They only have one service. A fairly large church, though, 850-member church. So they're saying they don't have the means to do online services, nothing like that. So they want to be able to hold more people outside than the 100-person you know, person limit. I mean, really, they want to be able to hold their services inside. But according to Bowser, that will not happen until there is either an effective vaccine that's out or treatments that prove to actually work. Now, you have to be kidding me. You're going to wait. You're going to tell me. These churches can't fully reopen to their full capacity being indoors until there is an effective vaccine or a treatment that comes out that's proven to be effective. You want to talk about illegal? This mayor should be in prison for what she's doing right now to the city of D.C. But I'm going to say this. She's being allowed to get away with it. I love the DOJ. I, I, I really I, I like William Barr. I think he does a good job, but I think they need to do more here. There's no reason they should be getting away with this. There's, in other states, you know what? They're, if there's restrictions, they're fighting against it. They're holding services anyway because they're not going to be intimidated by some sort of an illegal executive order against their religious liberty. An example of this, Pastor John MacArthur, California Sun Valley, Grace Community Church. This is a guy that they've been trying to put in prison. He's been fighting in the courts. He's been holding services despite the fact that they're telling him not to. He's not intimidated. And look, everybody's got to do what they think is best for them. But I'm just saying this mayor should have been held accountable a long time ago. And I think the churches need to be a little bit more bolder in their steps and the actions that they're taking because they are basically letting their rights be taken from them. Now, I'm glad that a lawsuit is, was put out here. It should have been, really, it should have been sent out at the very beginning when this whole thing first happened. So we're going to have to wait and see how this all shakes out. But uh, the D.C. mayor, it, like I said, she needs to be in prison. This is someone that was allowing, you know, the BLM murals and everything to be, you know, painted all around the city and everything like that. Um, th this woman is is uh, no friend to Christians. I can tell you that much right now. And her, uh, just like Mayor de Blasio and, and Lightfoot and all these other tyrannical governors like Whitmer in Michigan, you got Cuomo in New York. Um, they're everywhere. They, everyone. You got uh, Kate Brown over in Oregon, Jay Inslee in Washington. I, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. America, in my view, has been given over into captivity because, well, the sins of our nation, the immorality that we have now allowed, the constant shaking of our fists at the Lord, he has now allowed this to happen. Now, it can be lifted if a nation can repent. 
if they could turn from their wicked ways. And that remains to be seen whether or not America is going to do that or not. What do you guys think? You can let me know down below in the comments section. I'll put some more information on this in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.